Hello everybody, this is Monkey Puzzle, and welcome to episode number 65 of Monkey Wrench and the Beast. I was sick for the last few days, and I couldn't record, um, but obviously I used the time a little bit, so I delved deep into Railcraft. Uh, like I said I was going to do, I'm sorry I did it without you, but I was just too messed up to record. My head was all thick and foggy and my voice and my breathing and everything was all messed up. Um, but I will show you now what I did. Um, so yeah, we've got a train line that goes all the way to the village we were working on last time, uh, a thousand blocks away with a nice little locomotive at the head of it. And uh, yeah, we got a passenger, uh, which reminds me, uh, let me see. Let me open these up uh, for now. I've got this sealed off because uh, this is a possible entry for monsters. And as you saw in my shenanigans in the little intro, uh, sometimes the carts pick them up and uh, things happen. So in case a creeper or a skeleton or something gets in here, I just uh, wanted to keep it safe. Um, but uh, yeah, you saw this guy take a few arrow hits maybe. Um, the uh but he survived he's tough so you keep going he's our mascot for now the purple sheep in the train car <laughs> anyway a uh, couple things i did in order to make this uh one on my hot bar you might see i've got a nice little uh woven trackman's backpack to keep all the tracks and railcraft related stuff uh so it doesn't clog up my inventory it looks like I got a little uh, regen too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, then I got a little station here to make the tracks and stuff. I put it here because it can hook up to the creosote. And that was necessary for making the ties. Uh, making tracks is different in Feed the Beast with Railcraft than it is in Vanilla. So in here, I put wood. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me see. Let me put some more and uh, put that in there. And then that's going to go ahead... I manually turn it on here because there was no good setting on the gate for it. It's going to turn them into uh, wood slabs. And then in here, the wood slabs are getting turned into ties. Um, and then when they're, this has work to do, this turns on. Um, and also when it has work to do, it gets power over here from this tesseract. Um, so no power is going to it otherwise. And it's being continuously fed with the creosote from down below, uh, which is all full, by the way. We need to come up with more uses for creosote. Um, and then the ties get put into here uh, as they're made. Uh, it's kind of a slow process. Um, and every four wooden ties then becomes a wooden rail bed. And then these rails I actually have to make in the, um, the, the roller over there. And then with steel, and then uh, this is the formation to turn the rails and the wooden rail bed into, uh, into tracks. And this up to this point is pretty expensive, uh, but then this makes 32 of them. And uh, sorry if neighbor dog is barking again. He's bri double bribed fair and square, so I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Hopefully we can continue without too much background noise. Um, Oh, and yeah, I was putting stuff in here until I had the tracksman back, track, track, trackman's backpack. Uh, these are just different uh, posts I used for making bridges and stuff along the way, which we'll see 
in a minute. So uh, a couple things about this. Uh, let me see. Right here, I can switch it with this wireless transmitter. Um, there's a switch motor I'll show you uh, um, on the way out to when we take a little ride, which we're going to do. Um, the uh, If it's up like this, if this is powered off, it's just a local loop around here, which I'll show you first. And then if it's down, uh, the track switches to take us all the way to the village. Um, and it can do either loop on its own. Locally, that all the chunks are loaded, but for the long distance ride, I've got this uh, anchor cart in here, which is one of the uh, world anchors, uh, the old school ones with the ender pearls. Um, you got to keep it filled with in order for it to keep working. And um, it combined with a minecart. So this loads chunks everywhere it goes. It's a nine minute round trip to the village. Um, anyway, so yeah, the train, when it comes in here, the speed, this is a whistle track that makes it whistle. And this is a limiter track that controls the speed. So I take it down to one when I get here. Uh, there's four speeds on a locomotive. Um, and one and two uh, don't kill you, and three and four do, as I found out. Even in my quantum armor, uh, <laughs> this will be the death of you. Um, so you got to watch out. You're playing with danger here, which is cool. Railcraft adds another uh, actual way to die nowadays and feed the beast. And I actually picked up all my stuff for the first time in a very long time. Uh, so yeah, I got it loaded with coal. I don't have an automatic reloading yet, um, but I will get there. Oh, and we got a custom dye our train here. It's kind of bland and gray. You can color the different parts of it, uh, a primary color and a secondary color, not actual primary, but any color you want. Um, I'll, which I'll do later. I don't want to stop it now because it's all juiced up and ready to go. Um, actually, I will. I found out that the uh, trackman's bag will actually pick up a locomotive. So, and I shouldn't have shift clicked just there. Well, I guess it worked, but I just did that with the crowbar a minute ago and it actually killed the game. Uh, so let's see, let's go ahead and die our locomotive. Uh, my first attempt is going to be purple and yellow. Uh, let's check that out. <laughs> I think that's going to be nice. Well, that's definitely much more colorful. Uh, if you want to change the direction the locomotive is going, you can right click on one of the ends and it changes. And then if you uh, shift right click, you start a link and you shift right click on the other thing and now those are connected. And let me get this engine going. Well, some coal and some buckets of water and it's getting all steamed up. Uh, it peaks at a thousand degrees C just like uh, the steam boilers um, because it is the steam boiler. In fact, they were using the crafting recipe um, and that will affect the use of the coal. It's at maximum efficiency then. Um, but for now, uh, we have plenty of steam, so uh, let's do some stuff. Uh, I don't have it so it automatically uh, reloads the fuel yet. I'll work on that next. Um, but uh, yeah, let's send it on a little loop. Let's make sure it's gonna go local. Yep, so there it goes. Hits another whistle track. <laughs> Woohoo, I love that. And then this is reminiscent of my childhood with Mr. Rogers and his trolley that would go through his house. You're working here in the plant power power plant. And oh, look, there goes the choo-choo. <laughs> Woohoo! Hi, train. Hello. <laughs> I love that. I don't know. This uh, train stuff adds a whole new element of uh, playing with trains and such here. So over there, it hit a limiter track that took it up to... Uh, uh, speed two, um, get it moving a little bit, but still keeping it uh, non-lethal uh, when we're around the animals and stuff because they get out of the fence often. And then when we get over to here, uh, this limiter track is going to turn it to uh, speed four. So this is as fast as it goes. And if we were at night and we hit some mobs or any animals, it would plow right through them. Here's my little switching station here. Here's the wireless receiver that the transmitter sends to. And that switches between this way and this way. So, and this just makes sure when it comes back from the village that it uh, comes this way. Now here's my favorite part. Uh, once it gets up here, here we go. Woo! <laughs> that is the best. And it lands there nicely every time. 
So, and then it gets put back down to uh, speed one on the launcher track. It's speed two here, speed one. Uh, pauses for a moment and uh, refills with water there. And then, uh, oops, uh, waits for me to press the button again. Unless I have it uh, set here, I can turn this on and it'll just go on a continuous loop. So, uh, actually, let me get over here and change this to the long run down to the village. And it'll do this loop on its own too with the world anchor. It's a nine minute round trip. Um, so it takes a minute, but every nine minutes it's come back faithfully. So here we go. It's so much better now that it's purple. <laughs> That's just a little bit of lag there. Over the top of the uh, iron tank. And uh, imagine uh, when this is picking up villagers over in the village, we're going to put embarking and disembarking tracks there so they'll randomly get picked up. And they're going on a little tourist ride through the savanna base to see what that crazy monkey puzzle and Nilo Real dudes are going, what, what, what we're doing over here. Um, and go come check it out uh, as we're the main attraction for them apparently on their little ride they're going to take here. I can also use this to transport stuff uh, back and forth. You know, you can put, uh, um, uh, you know, regular old chest storage mine carts in here. And there's a lot of other uh, uh, carts that come with Railcraft, like tank carts and such. We could move creosote out to there or biomass or biofuel. I also saw uh, a brief pause. It's nighttime, so we're going to have a little exciting trip here, apparently. Um, hopefully, we'll plow through some mobs. And uh, hopefully the skellies aren't going to hurt our sheep. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I saw this as MFSU carts. So I think that's going to be my favorite way to move the EU wire wirelessly. So we can either do the whole continuous run uh, like this, uh, like we're doing to the village, or for the places that are multiple thousands of blocks away, we can send it through a Miscraft crystal portal and this kind of... Uh, cheat it that way so see if anyone's gonna take a ride occasionally up oh, there we go <laughs> we picked up a zombie <laughs> you got your ticket sir well, we'll deal with that when we get to the station uh, anyway uh, this is a l f long ride so I can use it to uh, give you a couple updates uh, one I got a new mic I don't know if you can tell this one I think is definitely gonna be the mic and uh, I'm very excited about it uh, this is, I think, the fourth mic I've tried since my headset now, and uh, was unhappy with all of the ones previous. They got better and better, but uh, I've learned a lot about them as I went along. Finally got one that's really appropriate for this. I've got the Shure SM7B, which is a professional quality broadcast mic, and it was way beyond my budget, um, but it was just really <laughs> important to me. He hit me when we did that little bend there. It was really important to me to get the quality good because I just cringe when I'm editing and I don't like the sound. And um, So yeah, I've got a Shure SM7B and it's going through uh, an audio interface that turns it into a USB signal. Um, that interface is a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. And then I learned uh, how to boost the gain a little bit more because I was having problems with these dynamic mics being too low, too quiet. And so in line before the interface, I've got uh, this thing called a cloud lifter, which gives it another 24 decibels of gain. So I got a nice hot signal uh, that's going to be loud enough. And I think we've got up to professional quality. And once I get over this cold and my voice gets a little bit more than normal, uh, hopefully it'll get even better. Um, and the second update I wanted to give you as we take this nice little scenic ride through the dangerous forest at night <laughs> with the twisty twenty part getting me all wow wow is I got my first donations to the channel. Uh, and it's just really exciting. The uh, Moo Woo started it off. Uh, one of my subscribers who has commented, wow, Iron Armor, I haven't seen that too often. Um, he sent me a gift of the Humble Indie Bundle. So we've got, I've got five new indie games I can play uh, that I need to check out. He suggested that we, uh, we, uh, pl pl I play them on the channel. I have to check them out and see if I'm gonna do that. That would be a big change. 
And then um, a fellow named Anthony Voidetich, which hopefully I got that name close enough. Uh, um, he sent the first cash donation of $4.23, which is not huge. Uh, <laughs> did you do that? Thank you. Um, but it's it's really symbolically important to me. It's just, uh, you know, it just the contribution. This makes me feel really supported. And then the third contribution this uh, week is uh, another subscriber and a friend of mine, the Empathetic Frog. Uh, she made a new channel icon for me, so you could see that on the channel. Oh, and I was going to stop here, uh, but apparently I have it uh, so that the uh, uh, it's on the continuous loop. I forgot about that. Um, so I'm gonna go, we'll wait till we get out there and do it. Actually, no, I'll do it here because it's nice and lit up. I'm gonna actually shut it down for a second or idle it because uh, sometimes when I jump off, I die. <laughs> and uh, for the episode, I'd rather not do that. So anyway, let's wave goodbye to everybody. I'll see you on the return trip. Have a nice ride and uh, well, I guess you can ride uh, without fare this time, you zombies. <laughs> That's too much fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so she uh, made a nice new channel icon for me. So we're using that. And uh, so today, uh, with the time that's left, I want to start building in the village. Uh, like I um, said I was going to do before, I did a lot of lighting up um, so that now I don't have to worry about the uh, zombies attacking the villagers at night. And I also did a whole bunch of uh, adding doors and stuff. I filmed a lot of it to do a little montage, but uh, I think I'm going to skip that at this point. Maybe I'll put a little bit at the end. I'm not sure. But we got the population up to the point where we got a couple golems per village. And uh, so we've got some, uh, some muscle here to protect the villagers as well. And uh, I've been starting to see all the new kinds of villagers. We've got Mistcraft villagers and Thomcraft villagers. These guys are pretty stupid. They end up getting stuck all the time. They either go into the fence over there. Uh, this guy likes to get stuck on this rooftop. <laughs> oh, and I've got this all chunk loaded too, so that the villagers, I think they move when uh, it's chunk loaded, even if I'm not around. Uh, the golems apparently do. It uh, overcomes that 32 block uh, uh, limit for mobs moving. Um, so I've got it loaded there and through here. Uh, and then I've got this village loaded as well so that the villagers can be alive and do their thing and breed and everything when I'm here or not. Uh, it takes a toll on my FPS. Eventually I'll turn that off. Um, but yeah, today I wanted to uh, make some progress on this area in here, which is going to be mostly houses up here. Uh, we got to make a little train station and then we got to start the village market in here with some of the guys with the really good trades. And obviously, I'm not going to finish all that today. I'm not even going to do all of it on camera, but I'm going to get started like I usually do. Um, and I've also decided that this might be a good place to thank some of the uh, first contributors to the channel. I've gotten a lot of contributions through comments and stuff, so I'm not uh, downgrading those. Uh, information and praise are wonderful, and they definitely help keep me pumped up for doing this. Um, but, uh, you know, for this next level of people contributing, you know, you know m money or art uh, or games or whatever it's going to be, I wanted to have some way to recognize that. So I think uh, each building I'm going to make, I'm going to uh, put a little plaque on it and dedicate it to each of those folks I just mentioned. And uh, there's going to be plenty of buildings and other things that I can continue to dedicate. I could even promise that like, for each donation I get, I'll make you a new house over here, uh, some other building. You can even maybe specify what it is if it's not too hard. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to get myself uh, all uh, resourced up to do some building, and I'll meet you back here. All right, so we got a nice chest full of materials. I was thinking I was going to primarily use marble on these builds um, because they've got the ravine full of marble over there. I still might, but I'm definitely going to mix it up. 
And also in this uh, build, especially for the marketplace, I want to start using this rock wool, uh, which is basically uh, wool that doesn't burn. And uh, let's let's see, let's take a few of these. Um, and let's give an example of dyeing it. Uh, which isn't working. I wonder what's up with that. Uh, it's supposed to dye just like wool. Uh, maybe I have to turn it white first. Let's see. Uh, let's just take some of it so I don't mess up. And what happens with that? Hmm. Uh, let's see. That's the color it comes out. And, uh, oh, okay. You surround the dye with it, which is great. Uh, cause, uh, that goes a lot farther that way. So, and probably, let's check that out. Um, can you keep redying it? You must be able to. I just pressed U and it's pausing. There we go. Uh, yeah, so you can just keep changing the colors uh, with impunity. So, um, yeah, the wool has its issues, uh, you know, especially with burning. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Um, so maybe we'll just get the rock wool set up in here and have a little thing where we can be making uh, eight of a time at, of any color. So there you go, eight purple rock wool. And uh, let's put our dyes in here. I've been starting with uh, the uh, the bone meal and the cactus green uh, as a starter base for making all these dyes. And <laughs> I gotten lazy rather than trying to harvest them all in their real forms. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a good start. And we'll get all there. Uh, today, we'll see how far I can get. I'm going to start each one. Um, but we're going to work on this again next time. And then uh, I'm going to release the world download. And then from there, we'll move on to another project. But uh, I think I'm going to start with the train station over here. Um, so let me grab a few materials for it. The train station definitely needs to be formal. Uh, that's the nature of train stations. So I'm thinking we definitely use the marble for that. Uh, this is some marble, some glass. Uh, let me see. Let me get this out of the way and let me put this. Oh, that was supposed to go in here. Um, and probably some basalt for the floor. I mean, the basalt bricks would be a good start. Uh, yeah, let's start with those materials. Um, so we're definitely good continuing to use the red power theme. Um, there was an update from Eloram that said she was uh, planning on working on the update still. So Red Power is probably still going to be around, uh, which is cool. Um, but you know, also, I don't know if this uh, world is going to make it out of 1.4.7 anyway, uh, which doesn't really bother me that much. I mean. I don't know, I just don't feel the urgency to update as much as uh, I see some other people express. Uh, like I said, oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello. I put the whistle track and we've picked up a pig now. <laughs> so it's going to hang out there and wait. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm making the outline of the floor and then we're actually going to be able to use the... Um, the wand of equal trade after we've got an outline here. So, maybe let's go out one further, I think. Uh, and once we've got the floor outlined, that will then inform us uh, about the rest of the thing. So, and I, I'm going to go... The train station is going to go all the way this way, I think. I think I want to make it so that the full length of the train can line up there when it's ready to leave. Uh, so let me get this cleared out. All right, like that. Um, and once I get this started, it'll definitely, I'll be able to refine what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna finish getting this outlined and then I'll meet you when I'm ready to fill in. Okay, so then I can go ahead and get my wand of equal trade out. And there's some fireworks going on in the background. I think a baseball game just finished. I'm not sure. 
Or, uh, let's see. No, I want to go like that. There we go. And, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, it's probably a little wasteful. We're probably getting some under there. Actually, no, because this is just doing the grass blocks. So that's cool. Uh, let's do it over here. And it does it under the tracks and everything. Oh, I'm out of them. Let <laughs> me get some more. Uh, those are easy to make. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Let's turn... Let's, let's see. Do I really want that many? No. Let's do that many. Okay. And get back over here. And turn those into the pavers. That's great. Uh, I didn't want that to happen, <laughs> but uh, I can fix that later. So, let me see. That's a good start. Uh, maybe we'll go a little further this way. Ooh, and that's getting messy, too. Um, okay. So then we want to do some marble. I think I'm going to hand place this so I don't uh, use too much. Uh, good to have two spaces in here um, so that there's enough room to walk around. And I already grabbed some marble. Okay. And then... Uh, Let's get that into our miner's backpack, our big old one. Woven miner's back, or digger's backpack, actually. So we'll start the wall out here, I think. And uh, once I get this outlined, I think I'll then work on some, uh, uh, some uh, micro blocks to kind of fancy it up. Uh, you know, I might even start that to begin with, because this is already too thick. I decided I'm not going to make it so that with doors in here, even though a lot of the point of this is doors for lots of villagers, because I want to be able to control the movement of the villagers in and out. I've got it slowed down here when it comes into the village so that it, it doesn't, it's not going to kill them, but there may be mobs on it, especially zombies, and it's just chaos. So, yeah, uh, the entry by the villagers into here is going to happen through the action of the the special tracks that are going to take them uh, um, on and off. Uh, it basically uses ender pearls to make them and it teleports them on and off. So yeah, so those are going to be the walls, but uh, let's go ahead and take these back off and go ahead and start uh, micro blocking them. Now that I can do this, it's really hard for me to, uh, sure, well, let's make a lot for start. We can always put them back, um, to use the thick old blocks anymore. Uh, we can do that. I wonder actually, could I have made, uh, marble stairs? Let's check that out. Uh, so this is one of my first adventures into real, uh, aesthetic builds. I'll do it over here. Um, I haven't done too much of that before, so this is new territory for me. Nope, no stairs. Uh, I bet I could with uh, these. Let's make uh, eight of them. Oops. Do those do it? Nope. Okay. So we definitely have to use the uh, micro blocks for this. So let's also get some of those I think we want and that's a lot <laughs> but like I said we can always turn them back um, yeah so I'm venturing into new territory and I always said I would that once I got through the basics of survival that I would uh, start doing more artistic stuff and we've gotten way past survival in this world and so now it's time for this kind of stuff um, which is also part of my reluctance for uh, the world restarts is not really that I'm afraid that I can't do it again. Um, it's more about just getting to the, the good stuff, you know? Um, so then I was imagining, what if they had a base like that or should it be thinner? Let's do another set of thinner ones. Let's not do them all this time. Can, what can we do? We can do that. Uh, hmm. I wonder, oh, you know what? They go thinner the other way. Let me see. Let me put these back together. Get back to those. And then let me try cutting them that way. There we go. And then from there, 
we can get some panel strips. Oh, and that was finally the death of my saw. I tried to put repair on it, and repair didn't take. Um, and uh, I also, so we got to start with a new one. But uh, let me see. Oh, and these won't go up against that. Hmm. So that's not going to do what I want. So I guess we do have to use those after all. But yeah, a little base of the wall. Um, I think I'm going to have to spend the rest of this episode just doing the train station. So uh, I'm only going to be able to recognize one of uh, this week's donors uh, today with this. But don't worry, the rest of y'all, I'll get to this. Um, yeah, and I think... This is going to be the Moo Woo train station. Uh, he was technically the first uh, with the gift of the humble indie bundle. And also it's more because of uh, assonance that uh, I think that Moo Woo goes with Choo Choo. So this is definitely the Moo Woo train, train station. So starting it here. Um, uh, yeah, from here I'm going to go up with some glass. There's going to need to be a roof. Uh, I'll just build on camera a little bit more. Um, oh, but I actually, I have to go make my saw, so I will be back. Three sticks, two iron, and two diamonds, and we've got a new diamond handsaw. The other one lasted us quite a bit, so, um, don't mind that at all. So let me get back to what we were doing over here. And I gotta look out, uh, there was one time I was hanging uh, over here doing this train stuff and a creeper came down here, so I gotta look out for that. Um... Let me see, these ones we were using, uh, let's make a few of th those, I think is what I need. And there's a lot of uh, micro block shapes I haven't even learned how to make yet uh, that, that are in NEI. So I gotta figure that out. Um, should we do that? And we can always come back with the thinner strips later um, and get this even more detailed. So now like if we had these, uh, they could go like that, perhaps, and that's a really uh, a bit more uh, articulated bottom of the wall. And uh, try that. And over here, it's going to be some iron doors right there, um, so that the villagers aren't going to be able to work them. And then on top of this, let's do the glass like I was about to. Uh, let's get that. Yeah, and with glass, uh, I don't need that many. Uh, probably don't even need that many. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay. And that, and that. Yeah, that's the end of the line there. Um, and we'll just go ahead and use these as the windows. And train station's got to have a lot of windows. So... I could have even done the micro blocks to make a little half size wall there, but that's okay. We don't need to get too detailed here because otherwise each build, we don't want to have multiple episodes for one build. We want to be able to at least knock out one or two or three or more of these at a time. Uh, let me see. Go ahead and get up here. And the windows are going to be at least too tall. Like uh, so. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. And there. And there. And keep them coming around. And if I got really detailed, I could put a little strip right there. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. So it's taking shape. Um, then we got to figure out a roof. So. What should the material be? I guess we'll just keep it uh, marble still. Um, you know, like the whole thing was just carved out of it. I think that's still appropriate. Uh, maybe we could put another material at the very, very top. But, uh, yeah, what are we going to do here? kind of want to lay these sideways. Like that. I think. How is that? Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. And, uh, then maybe something thinner. Let's try the marble panels. Uh, yeah, have them come out like that. You can't really see 
that articulation up there though because it's not tall enough um, is there I would like one of these that's half that size can that be made no and no so I guess I can't just do that I wonder uh, the strips if I put uh, one of these another one of these right th there and there's some major dog barkage happening again um, it's one quality control thing on this channel I don't know how to deal with <laughs> uh, hmm all right well I'm gonna spend a moment figuring out how this is gonna go I think that's gonna work for me right now we've got a peak that's uh, right above the track um, it kinda goes into the wall so it's not gonna do this on the other side but uh, yeah um, and but they'll still be symmetrical and then I think uh, yeah I just gotta do that back wall of marble and take this shape roof all the way around um, so I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you back once again and trains in my way right now so I'm actually gonna I uh, have it on idle turn it back to running it uses less resources on idle I don't want to turn it off because it takes a while for it to get up oh it's not a thousand it's uh, 500 degrees C uh, my bad anyway let's send it on its way see you guys back uh, when you come back you might have a finished train station we'll see uh, they'll be back in nine minutes so <laughs> Remember I was talking about trains can kill you? <laughs> I was here busy building stuff, not looking back, and uh, guess what happened? <laughs> All right, let me get my stuff. Uh, at least I'm, uh, my, 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 I got my spawn set here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the train just kept going. I think I got all my stuff back. Um, <laughs> I guess it's refreshing to be dying again. Uh, the confusing thing is I've got this set to two, which I thought was safe. Um, so, let's see. I guess we'll set it to one. And uh, see, I guess I'll find out soon enough if that's really safe. Yeah. So there's that pattern wrapped all the way around. It's just the same one we started there. And this took it in the full L. Uh, not quite sure how to do this over here. I heard there's a gate, um, a gate track, but I don't know if we need that on this side, especially since we're not going to open this up to the villagers over here. Um, anyway, just a few details left uh, to call this a build for now. Uh, one thing I was forgetting when I was using the wand of equal trade before is that you know when you right click it changes a whole section um, but you can left click and just do one at a time so I could have done that for my outlining uh, and made it a lot more precise and also for uh, this kind of area over here uh, select that so it's another tool at our disposal anyway I'm gonna finish up around the side here and uh, let's figure out a couple more details and uh, we'll be done. So I'll see you then. Giving it a wide berth this time. <laughs> a little purple choo choo of death. <laughs> all right, so that's all done. I think it's looking pretty good. Just a few more details. We need some doors uh, right here. And let me see a way to get out. <laughs> Give these some stone buttons, I suppose. Uh, right there and there. Oh. Why doesn't that work? I must be about the, uh, the micro blocks. I can't get out. Well, I've got, I was going to put these on the outside. Uh, I guess I can put them there. And, uh, make another two. And put them there. I'd have to really build out a covered doorway here to uh, actually be able to put buttons on the side. I might do that, uh, but for today, I guess that's how it goes. And uh, let me see, one of the last things we need here is some light. So let me see, let me 
grab a piece of glowstone. One of my requests to Elleram would be uh, glowstone micro blocks. Have a little glowstone edging. Wouldn't that be cool? But uh, I don't think we get. That's probably like big uh, issues with that. With uh, you know, it'd probably be very hard to code. And then I need to figure out where the glowstone goes in here. You can either uh, uh, go in the walls, or I was actually thinking, just in order to avoid uh, breaking up the flow, I could put it under the tracks, or I could go in the floor. Uh, I'll put it under the tracks, but I'm going to have to pull up the tracks to do that, because if I try to do it here, it changes uh it changes out the track <laughs> for glowstone <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead whoa <laughs> lift this up <laughs> i'm gonna lift it up and get back to you just to try to for expediency to finish this up and oh and also i was going to say that i could um make another kind of fancy lighting you know which would go well with a uh, train station um but I don't want to take too much time right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. You know, I was thinking the uh, these wouldn't look too bad in there. But then I kind of like that. It actually just makes it look ornate. So if you did those every few, uh, that's not so bad. I don't mind that. Yeah. Uh, it actually, it breaks it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And uh, I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do inside. I was looking at lamps and fixtures and stuff. There's these. Those are those look v would be good in the tunnel, but not for the fancy railroad. Uh, there's these. And uh, there's probably others I'm not thinking about. I don't want ones I have to charge up. But uh, these uh, fixtures actually is what I'm looking for. Um, those wouldn't be so bad either, uh, but uh, we'll get to that. And today I learned that you can't place tracks on glowstone. I probably already knew that, but I guess I forgot. And final, final touches is uh, first we need to put a uh, holding track, I'd say over here. And right now we've got what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five cars here. So that would be one, two, or one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so we want to hold the, the locomotive maybe about here will allow for a very long train uh, if it gets longer and power that or unpower it actually to hold it and then after that when the train uh, leaves uh, we need uh, let's actually put it here a whistle track it's got a whistle <laughs> that's one of my favorite parts and then to finish it off for now uh, I've changed the uh, doorway a little bit so I can put buttons on the other side and I can do this uh let's say let's put some fancy stuff i like how it goes off the edge but uh, we don't have to do that now and we'll then we'll do the uh the uh mu woo <laughs> i gotta check my spelling be right back glad i checked it's the mu woo oops woo <laughs> I'm tempted to put choo choo, but <laughs> we'll be more formal. And it's the Mew Woo train station. All right. Does it need this down here? Let's see. Ah, uh, no, nah, it's too close. If it could go low, I would do it. Uh, yeah, we'll call that done. There we go. And we now have the Mew Woo train station. Uh, we'll add the fancy part about the villagers embarking and disembarking later and uh, empathetic frog and Anthony uh, Voiditich we will get you guys next episode you'll get your own very your very own buildings up here somewhere 
Anyway, folks, uh, I think that's it for today. Oh, yeah, we should finish up by uh, having the train. Uh, let me see. Is it, it must be this one. Line up in its spot in the station. See how that looks? Oh, very nice. Very cool. And then uh, I'm going to have to put a button out here at some point so I can ah <laughs> I don't like these <laughs> so I can send it off uh, for now we'll just go ahead and send it on its way like this bye bye <laughs> see you in episode 66 wait I missed my train <laughs> I'll see y'all this is monkey puzzle and I'm signing out <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>